Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Get Help with Tanmay Mehta. As you all know that in this particular episode, like always, we'll be featuring top three questions that have been asked to us using the link that is shared in the description or through the comments that you have shared in all the other videos. So Abhishek over here is going to be the voice of your questions, and because you guys missed out on two episodes, I think uh, that's because of Abhishek who wasn't here. So you need to. Ask him for a penalty and see what he can give you. So make sure to ask him for that again using the link obviously in the description which is shared to ask the questions. And apart from that, in our past videos we have also mentioned about a new service that we started for all of you guys. That is the Aviva service. So Aviva is our bot assistant who is going to actually speak to you as a customer service executive, and uh, she is going to take care of your initial questions or whatever products offering. product knowledge anything that you need uh, she is going to be the person who will assist you and again a link for that is in the description so make sure to check the description for all our videos because we really share not just these links but overall a little bit better gist about the video apart from the things that are covered in the video so now let's begin with the questions what do you abhishek so satya fanindra as I have a 5.1.2 Clips setup with Marantz SR5015 and Optoma HD 2080 projector. Okay. My setup is in living room. It is a L-shaped room with an with open kitchen. Shall we go for any uh, acoustic treatment? Okay. Uh, so first of all, Sadhya, uh, I think uh, irrespective of the room, uh, the system will sound great if it is acoustically treated. But yes, there are certain elements in acoustics which really matter. So as we have spoken in the past about uh acoustics for living room you can actually watch that video as well i think that was episode number 4 or 5 so that is something that you can refer to uh apart from that l shaped living rooms are becoming very common uh, in most of the urban cities these days uh, where you have got dining on one side and then you have your living sofa and the tv wall on one side so with these kind of setups i'm sure that you would have a balcony door or a window and just use a good thick curtain with a blackout material because you are using a projector screen so that is something which will take care of the light as well as the sound uh, ab- uh, absorption in that room also make sure to use a loose carpet or a rug on the floor uh, this will be one of the best ways to absorb sound from the floor uh, your upholstery on the sofa cushion is again going to be one of the other element which will take care of the sound absorption and in case in case you feel that you can have a separate wall panels installed in the living room which are acoustic panels then there is one company which is timber acoustics available in india try to reach out to them and get their panels which can be pasted on the wall or hung on the wall and then there are good foam panels that are available as well which you can again paste it on the wall but considering it's a living room i don't know how much color combination would be able to work out with so i am assuming that it will be more of light colors in that room so these dark foam panels may not really work for you but i'm sure the good panels that are you know timber acoustic has or there's one more company called sound and about based in bombay so they actually can have artwork printed on your uh, panels so you can have good art frames kind of thing which are nothing but acoustic frames so these are certain elements which you can use to ensure that the acoustic performance is, is been taken care of in the living room uh, next question abhishek so am ry as what is the height of tv or screen to fix on wall when i watch from the bed okay so for tv we have always mentioned i'm going to share the link of that particular video on top over here uh, so for tv we always say that the center of the tv has to be at your eye level and for the projector screen if the screen height is 6 feet then 1/3 from the bottom which is the 2 feet from the bottom so that top of that 1/3 needs to match your eye level now both these scenarios work when you are sitting at 90 degree okay the moment you start reclining a little bit this 90 degrees to let's say 100 degree so this 10 degree reclining angle will again tilt your projection by 10 degrees so this eye level which was meeting at the center of the tv but cause you are reclining at 10 degrees then even this will start moving up by 10 degrees and accordingly you can do the calculation and see where does the screen or the tv screen center or the projector screens one third top would come out across but one thing is very important the reclining angle so if the reclining angle is let's say only 10 degrees then automatically my this viewing angle goes up by 10 degrees so this is a very simple calculation method that we use to calculate the 
positions or the location and the height of the tv as well as projector screen in any given scenario be it your bedroom your living room or even your dedicated cinema room this simple method of reclining angle and the height of the center of the eye level is something that you have to just take care of uh, i hope you got the answer aim r y for your question next question abhishek so dr satyam patel asked for the material of the project screen out of curiosity just wanted to know whether can we use acp which is a aluminum composite panel sheet available in the size of 8 by 5 feet as projection screen acp sheets are available in all solid colors both matte and gloss finish which according to you should be the best color to choose uh, honestly dr satyam we have never tested this particular uh, acp sheets for projector screen but out of what i know about this uh, sheets you can surely test them for your projector screen but don't go for gloss go for matte because gloss will give you a reflection of the lamp and the matte will actually not give you that uh, lens focus picture on the screen so that is why i think the acp matte can be a good try uh, honestly do this only if you are having it ready with you so that way you can also try it and let us know if it works uh, out of our experience the projector screen is always better because the reflection gain of projector screens fabric is something which i don't think there is there is any other material available to match the same reflection gain so in case your supplier of this acp sheets is able to help you with the reflection gain of it then try to find out that and if it is anywhere above 0.7 0.8 point 0.9 then i think it can be a good uh, good product to get your uh, image on to that but gloss for sure is something that you would want to avoid and this goes to all the viewers out here who are actually using projector screens sorry projectors with white boards because i have seen this used in lot of uh, you know classrooms and tuition classes etc where they have got a white board which they use for writing but at the same time they also showcase the image onto it now a white board is a very very glossy material and that is why when you see your projector's reflection on it you don't just see the screen but you also see that spot wherein you it kinds of reflect or gives a mirror reflection of the projector onto that white board so that is why glossy finish for any product okay needs to be avoided when you are using it with a projector and with that i think uh, satyam sir you would only want to tell us whether the acp sheet worked for you and these were the three questions for today's video guys i hope you got your answers and if you have something more to ask which you feel is or can be one of the common concerns for most people then please 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 feel free to share them in the link of the uh, shared in the description because your question honestly tells us what are the pain points and how can we help each one of you make better well informed and wise decision when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home cinema category now let us find out the winner who for today's video uh, abhishek is saying i don't ask me you only decide well i think uh, i'm going to pick out the second number because amry uh, that's his uh, you know subscriber handle so congratulations for asking one of the nicest questions because this is one of the pain points wherein we know the tv height and everything but when you recline that is something which i'm sure has been a good eye opener for not just him but for most of the people today so in case this video has helped you guys make sure to hit the like button in order to let youtube as well as others know that this content is relevant and at the same time don't forget to subscribe to our channel because i am going to see you all next thursday in the next episode of get help with tanmay mehta thank you once again for watching